Let me not play copyrighted music on my stream, preferably not. All right, well, chat, we're already we're already in game, and we're already walking out into the absolute nothingness in front of us. So, yeah. Oh, well, we're on a fucking. There's apparently a cave wall right here. Honestly, didn't even know that. Um, ah, damn. Wait, isn't this the way that I had went in my? Yeah, I need to go. Th I need to go way the fuck off this way. Okay. Yeah, we need to. We need to take a massive detour. God damn it! I don't want to take that much of a massive detour. But welcome in, team chat. Welcome in. Almost a team, Mayo. We're a team, guys. We're a team. Okay. This is teamwork. I'm playing. You're supporting. This is our adventure. Jesus. Oh, that's, that's, uh, oh, that's Cyberpunk 2077. That's actually dope, dope as fuck. Although, so that sounds really familiar and really cool. Too bad the game wasn't as good as the soundtrack. Ha ha ha, got him. Damn. Yeah, so I think I've already been down here before. Or maybe I've not. It says I haven't been right here before. Did I walk right by a treasure chest? Yep. The fuck? Well, it's, it turns out it really doesn't matter that I walked right by a treasure chest. You know why? Because uh, it had fucking nothing useful in it. Per usual. Per usual. Love that. Love that. That's my. That's actually my favorite part of being underground. Is actually when I go underground, and there's actually nothing down here that's even remotely interesting. That's the cool part about it. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding, but you, you know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually put our spelunking stuff on since we're underground. Um, you know our super high high defensive armor, which is hilarious. That our just our spelunking armor is what ended up being the uh, high defense armor. You know, because I could have upgraded so many other things, but I was like, you know what? No, the fashionable boots. <laughs> Ne the uh, necromancer robes and the derpy helmet. Perfect. Couldn't ask for better. How much zoniite do I have? Oh, 481. We're good. I was gonna stop to try to like you know grab some here and there, but there's no reason to. There's no reason to. Oh, that's a baco that's a boss bacoblin. Oh, I need to kill one of those. I need I need to kill more of those for the uh, for certain armor. You hate to see it, chat. Don't you hate it when you actually need to fight the enemies? Hold up, I'm gonna take Bigron's sword and probably put some high damaging thing on it. There we go. All right. Well, some shit's happening. I just don't know what. Oh, no. Damn, how much damage are we doing? All right, all right. You know what? They got it, chat. They got it. Do they really need my help? That's my question. Like, I think I have better things to do, like grab loot while they, uh, while they figure out the offensive maneuver. See, I'll play support, you guys play offense. We got this. This is good teamwork, good teamwork. Good hustle. Out of all the dumb plans I could be going with, I'm sure this is one of the dumb ones. But you know what? I love it all the same. Also, the fact that... Uh, I just realized Bigeron's sword actually does bonus damage because it's an actually like good weapon and not like a rusted weapon. That like just occurred to me. Yeah, I'm gonna probably save that for like a boss fight or something because uh, that seems a little too busted. It can just be kind of wasting. 
You did one damage, bro. Who were you? Who do you think you're fighting out here doing one damage? You gotta do better than that. Um, I don't get off work for another two hours, but Helldivers in a bit. Um, I do not know, uh, one fast sled. I already played it for a good two and a half hours, uh, today. I might get on later and play some more, but we will see. We will see. Um, I want to get on. If I, uh, can't think of anything else to play later, then I think that'd be fine. Because I have been having a lot of fun with Helldivers, so I don't see there, that being too much of an issue. If that's something you guys would like to see then I am perfectly fine with doing so. Dylan might get jealous, but that's okay. Um, today was just myself and then randoms that happened to be um, available. I did do a couple missions solo, and that's when I did the fucking solo mission for... Uh, the robots, which was unfucking believable. Yeah, I did one where I had to like uh I did two. I did one where I had to kill a hundred and ten. Uh yeah, I had to kill a hundred and ten total robots. And that one I think I barely did and then escaped. And then the other which was impossible, just about, and then the other one I uh fought I was trying to escort scientists to safety, which I couldn't do because I could not hold any line at all. And uh, I, di I died there. But yeah, ever since I got the, the DMR and the uh, SM the SMG uh, the fully automatic pistol, it's gotten a lot more reasonable to fight robots. What weird shit are you watching, bro? Replacing body parts on people. Stop talking about Godric the Grafted, okay? <laughs> Why is there just a fucking wall here? Are we not able to go that way? How blocked off is this shit? I know there are like kind of sections that are blocked off, but my god. It can't be that blocked off, can it? Because from what I can tell, there's no way to get underground from there. Like there's no way that goes underground. So I have to be able to walk there. But how? is my number one question. Also, why the fuck is it so bright around here? What's causing it to be bright? I don't understand. I mean, yeah, I guess there is a, a like a bright route or whatever over there, but why would it make this spot bright? Because even on the map, it should be like fading into nothingness. The robots require a lot of anti-tank, which is uncommon in the early game, with the machine gun being the only reliable source of it. Yeah, the only way I could uh, reliably take out any of the uh, robot enemies inside of uh, Helldivers 2 was actually with uh, basically headshotting them with uh, the DMR or amp just dumping mags of ammo into their faces with any full uh, high RPM fully automatic weapon. But, you know, outside of uh, playing Helldivers 2, I've also been uh, watching more of the Runaway guys. Um, we were talking about that the other the other day, about, like, you know, um, it's been a long time since I've watched them. And I've actually been consistently watching their playthrough of uh, Pong Kingdom, which has been so nostalgic and fucking hilarious. I've honestly loved it. It's been so long since I've seen um, their, like, you know, their videos and everything. And then watching, you know... The, um, watching their videos that are so old for, like, this game that I actually finally own now. Because, the funny enough, the only reason I even know about Dokemon Kingdom is from that playthrough. And the fact that I'm able to sit here and, uh, you know, watch them play this game that I wa watched them play so long ago. It's just enjoyable. Also, I forgot that, they, you know, they're honestly pretty fucking funny. It's it's kind of like a vibe, you know? Like, it, it is kind of like a vibe playthrough. Which kind of makes sense, because that's the thing I like to do with my streams. I just like to enjoy the time, you know? Just kind of, it, it's like a hangout. 
you're, I had a burger today. So we should be good. I cleaned, uh, well, you can feel free to use the stove. I went ahead and wiped, uh, wiped down the st stove. Yeah. I'm letting you know that... That's okay. Yeah. And I, and I was, I was letting you know that if, um... Well, here, I'll, I'll let you know this. If you want to use the stove, uh... If you, the stove ends up looking a little messy after something you make, I bought, uh... Wipes for it, because I, no I noticed... Because I'd always cleaned it with the wipes, and then we didn't have any for a while, and Devin usually buys them, so... I was waiting for him to buy them. And he didn't, so I was like, okay, I'll buy them. And then I cleaned it, so... No, I like to use the wipes. But I usually only, I use like one wipe and I clean the whole stove, that's why. So. Yeah, I've been wa I've been uh, watching that playthrough chat and it's been very very enjoyable. As you <laughs> Jesus. Loud as fuck. Um What do you get past difficulty four for the robot? Four for the robots. Um, they because they begin spawning a lot of enemies that require anti-tank and explosives. Um, I could see that because when I was firing at them, I actually got to one that was a heavily armored uh, robot with a blast shield, and I really didn't have anything I could do because from a mortar turrets. Oh, I was, that was actually gonna be something I buy soon. My bad. Oh, okay. I mean, to be honest, Dylan, I don't think I'm probably the safest person to play Helldivers 2 with in the first place, because when I was fighting the robots, it was such a dire situation. I was doing an orbital strike at my feet and running away. Luna, you know you're not supposed to chew that. You're looking at me like a victim, because you know you're not supposed to chew that. having to put it up there. Um, yeah. Okay. It's the middle one. Oh, you actually knew that already. I feel special. No, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I have su such heavy shit on it. Um, hey, bitch, welcome in, Luna Amethyst. Hey, bitch. Hey, Persona 3 Pro Tag looks like me. Hold up. We're judging that right now. Dylan's laughing, so he might agree. Bronies get longer hair. What's he doing? He's half-assing it. He, his, he's built like me, though. <laughs> His his legs are about about as thick as mine. Same thing with his arms. Luna, gotta go down. Yeah, he's he's definitely built like me. That's for sure. One of the elite. Uh, one of the elite and we are the robots is just a Warhammer 40k dreadnought. Speech to text to leaves much to be delivered. Oh my god, I thought you were talking to me. Ow. What? I'm so confused, Luna. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh, you thought I was talking to you? Oh, yeah, no. I was talking to, uh, Dylan's dog, Luna. Um, I think there's something up there. There is stuff up there, then we shall go up there. But, uh, yeah, I, um, I'm currently working to, uh, dish tank, so I have my phone, my speaker, which is also the microphone, about 100 gallons of water as well. 100 gallons of water, that is ridiculous. Like, plot twist, I am the dog. I mean, maybe you are. Dylan said he knew that furries were watching me. 
I mean, what type of art you guys look at in your spare time is none of my business. Oh. Wolf followed by... <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, Lee. Why is... <laughs> Can't... I, I, I can't even say the joke, so I'm just laughing at the- I'm laughing at the joke, so I can't say the joke. <laughs> You're a loser! That boy ain't right. Listen, fursuits are unironically cool as shit. Hey, you guys will not have any hate from me, because, uh, your boy... Like you know, you know the uh, the gay friend I talk about that I go like I went on a smoothie date with, and we gossiped. Okay, he's a furry and he's got like a fur suit and stuff. So I mean, pff. oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, he's pretty chill. No, I will. I will definitely say that. I, uh, Dylan, I am certainly not a furry. Yeah, that that I that I will disagree. I I am 100% for sure not a furry. But yeah, the um, what I mean, oh, was it? He talked about like a con he went to with a friend of his and stuff. So I just tell people they can do whatever they want. To be honest, it don't bother me. He was talking about a uh, furry con he had went to last time when I was hanging out with him. He's um and uh, you know how much, what type of uh, suit and everything. And then we also gossiped about a lot of stuff that I was wanting to gossip about. And then he was talking about um, we talked more about like the uh, you know when he first met me and a few other things. You know up. There we go. I'm trying to get over here. The open, big ass open area, and I can't tell what the fuck is over here. Who the fuck asked you, bitch? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, fucking, I'm over here streaming, and Siri's like, I don't have an answer for that. Good. No one asked you a question, alright? Like, fuck. <laughs> I'll, I'm over here trying to play the game and the and like I just okay. Um. Discord. It's not like you have much legroom to stand in during that argument, anyhow. What? Wait. What argument? I'm so confused. I'll say what. I didn't. I didn't realize there was an argument happening. Yeah, that's a lot of dishwashing. I would be fed up with dishwashing at that point. Uh, they were saying they were like doing a lot of like, a lot of dishwashing and stuff, and I was like, yeah, no. I was, yeah, I would die. I'm I'm sure Dylan can explain to you guys that I am not the biggest fan of washing dishes. I wash my dishes, but it's not always in the most timely manner. It's because I'm used to. I will say it does it. It freaks me out because I, I got when I used to wash dishes every single day. I got used to only having my dishes in the sink. So now that I have sink dishes in there that aren't mine, it fucks with me. I was out here fucking them up. Why did that cause an AOE? You know what? At least I have a shit ton of defense. That's all I can appreciate. Bro, you're like a you like a goddamn Minecraft enemy. Get out of here. Why? Just shut the fuck up. 
Reaper sounding ass. Reaper! Don't mine it, Knight. Why did that one stop? The fuck? Alright, cool. The world -o! <laughs> Oh! Hell yes, bro! No, it, it, rever it reverses time on the one item. Uh, don't remind me. Makes me mad. I'd love to watch JoJo's right now. Yeah, let's see. King Crimson. Do whatever you want, argument. Oh, like, oh, like, I have any say against people doing whatever they want? I mean, yeah. Like, I, I, I do whatever the fuck I want all the time, so it's like, I shouldn't tell people. I should never tell people what the fuck to do. <laughs> No. We don't. Because there's a tiny amount left to use. Um. Why the hell is this area so fucking empty? But yeah, no, I, I'm a big believer in people should do whatever they want. Check your DMs in Discord. Oh, I did. You uh, you sent me a picture of like all like the dishes and stuff you were washing. Honestly, I could never sit there and wash so many fucking dishes. It's just too much, man. It's way too much. I can't fucking stand um, washing all that many dishes. Like I don't mind washing dishes, but like once it's once it becomes that many, I no, I can't. I don't really enjoy it. Wait, is there no buddy butter at the store either? Really? People are weird, bro. We live in northern Florida. People could just be bathing in butter for all I know. You see how... Man, I mean, sure, it's contaminated with Devin's squades. Maybe it is. I don't fucking know. Maybe he's jealous because you, because you said the, <laughs> said that thing today. No, 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 no. The uh, he said, I have you. <laughs> You're like, oh, you have De uh, you have Devin. They're like, no, I I have him. <laughs> also, why is why can this not work? Fuck. Watch it fucking sink. Well, it might just be floatable. It's it's floating. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Fuck, why are you doing this? Why do you have to ruin everything? So this has to be good good loot. If if this is Chris Chat, I want you to know if this is crystallized fragments, I'm get changing the game right now. I want everyone to know that. Dead ass. It's been 24 minutes. If this is crystallized things, I'm changing games. Okay. I was about to say, try me game. Bet. Call my bluff, please. Anyone who's known me for more than five minutes knows that I run off of spite and salt, all right? But yeah. You know, but yeah, this is what it does by reversing time. Like this right here. There you go. I raise your other soul. Watch this shit. So it, it literally reverses it entirely back in time. Because uh, we literally... So fucking cool. And that's honestly such a cool thing. So what's interesting is they did that same... 
Dylan, they did that same like visual effect in uh, part four, JoJo, for the uh, the intro, um, for breakdown. For the yeah, the uh, the OP for bra uh, breakdowns OP. They did uh, this, I think it was breakdown. It was the other one? Yeah, is that not that's not breakdown? Breakdown's the one before it then. Crazy Noisy Town's the first one. Breakdown's the second one, and then the third one's the one where they have the. The cool effect that I'm thinking of. It was um, eight hours a day, two days a week, about 300 pounds a shift. Yeah, no. I honestly can't. I can't sit there and wash dishes. But to be fair, I'm also really easily grossed out by stuff. So, you know, other people, you know, other people don't get grossed out by other. It is breakdown. Okay. I'll say because I listen. I listened to him. I thought that's what it was. The beginning, yep. And the uh, yeah, like I don't know about you guys if you have if you guys have this problem, but whenever I see like food or dishes that people have eaten on or anything like that, it grosses me out beyond comprehension. Like it is so bad, I can't I can't handle it. Oh, that's why I don't recognize it too much. Uh, why can't I see anything down here? Nah, bro. I'm, I'm just running through all of Ganon's cream right now. Yeah, you heard me. This area is covered in Ganon's cream. Battle Talus. I wasn't gonna fuck you up, but now you asked for it. Get over here. He really did. He really just sat here and popped up on my screen. He's, he doesn't realize who he's fucking with. Because I... I have played this game... This is part, like, 56 of the playthrough. You don't know how much material I have, motherfucker. Alright? Try me, bitch. Oh my god, Dylan. He, he really isn't prepared. God damn. I was gonna... Oh, whoa! He also nearly threw me the fuck off <laughs> the side of the world. Alright. Okay, I'm back. The revitalized Sword of Legend. All this is very appreciated. Cool, that's a boss fight done. Honestly, some of the boss fights when you have high damage weapons are they're just not even fights. They're just they're just basically like paying taxes at that point. You're just like, okay, I'm gonna attack get taxed a little bit of durability for this fight right here. Holy shit, dude, how am I supposed to get up there without catching something? This is all cursed. Okay, it's not over here. It's just that one fucking area. I've destroyed three different shirts with a sanitizer chemical that has a trace amount of bleach in it. You'd be surprised how little bleach you need to totally ruin a shirt. At least I can, I can get them for free. Oh, dude, I hate it. I've been handed open bleach. Uh, I've been handed open bleach at my retail store before. Trust me, the last thing I want is to deal with bleach. I've I've gotten. Literally, shoes I'd bought. I'd bought brand new shoes and had somebody hand me open bleach and it fucked up my shoes. Yeah, we're gonna grab that real quick. What the hell was that noise? Let's go grab that uh, light real quick so I can actually see what's going on down here. Because with it being this dark down here, I kind of lose any and all ability to understand anything that's down here. Is that a light for something? 
Wait, there's a mine right here? It's so dark, I can't even tell that there's a mine. Alright. Luna, are you chewing on my jacket now? No, okay, it's just in the middle of the floor. See, yeah, I don't, I don't think she chewed on my jacket. She has her ball. Okay. Well, hopefully this mine also has loot, but, you know. I'm ready to be disappointed. <laughs> but to be fair, I'm not getting offline. Um, I don't know, man. I like this. I like exploring stuff, and I like, I like getting things, but the crystallized stuff is probably one of my least favorite things to find in this game. Yeah, like crystallized charge. It's just so unimportant in my eyes as far as, like, you know, finding stuff. Here, let's go ahead and go to the right, because I believe there's something over there, so that looks interesting. What, this way, I think? Yeah, I honestly don't fully know all of what I'm going to try to do this episode. Um, I wanted to explore more of the depths so I could actually see what's down here, because this is where you get a lot of cool different armor and everything. It's just the problem of finding the cool different armor, you know? And uh, that's kind of the problem I'm having right now. Now, I did find the Trousers of the Wind, so it seems like I found, you know, the Wind Waker armor. But I want to find the rest of the Twilight Princess armor and see if I can get more of that, you know? Because the Twilight Princess armor is the one that I like the most. So that's what I would prefer. Um, then also I need to go find more of the, uh, like, Light Dragon. Uh, the light I need to find the Light Dragon and all that other stuff, you know? I need to go around and do all these many, many different things. <laughs> that have the armor? Not for long. <laughs> now he's dead. You know what? Just kill him. There we go. Nice. I still think the most um, commendable thing in this in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is just the environment. I feel like there's very few environments in any video game that I genuinely feel like I can affect at all times. Like anytime something's going on, I feel like I can just I can use it, pick it up, etc. It's like like I, well, it's like you know people said with, like with Skyrim and everything. Which God, it's been so long since I played Skyrim. But to be fair, I did spend a lot of time playing Skyrim. I don't know. Did, did any of you guys ever play, like, a shit ton of Skyrim? Or, uh... Little, did you guys ever play, like, a shit ton of Skyrim? Or have you guys not really played a whole lot of it? I've not... I've played a decent amount of it, but I never actually got to, like, any really high level in Skyrim. See, I've heard a lot of people say they like Fallout better. I, um. Uh, I like Skyrim a lot. I uh, I will say it's combat's not my favorite though. My god, this is actually a huge defensive area. Wait, is that what this is? It's just this giant defensive place right here? Damn, that's what I was over here looking for? That sucks. Okay. Well, fuck it, I already walked over here specifically for this, so we might as well figure it out. Wait, there's loot here. Is it any good? Sundalion. You know what, now I'm gonna kill you for wasting my time. It wasn't that deep, now it is. God, I've got like 200 arrows. Also, it seems like I don't fight any like normal enemies in them anymore. I only fight like the final end game version of every enemy. I mean, I get it. I'm in the end game, but holy shit. It's getting to the point now where I can't wear anything that isn't the best armor in the game. Like sometimes I want to use normal armor, you know? Like I don't want to always have to use literally the best armor in this goddamn game. Here, 
Let me, uh... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come here, Unibo. So, Unibo, I'm gonna need you to really fuck up this area. Give it one good go, and... Where are you going? You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it myself. Huh? Oh, Thanos is what you said? Um, light dragon very high in the air. You have to either be at almost space or have one of the two Master Sword quests active will drop down. It patrols basically the entire outer region of the map. You cannot speed it up by skipping time. You just have to just pick a sp spot super high in the air and we'll eventually come around the massive temple in the top left of the map is one of the better places to get it because you were already so high as it is. Um, I actually ha I got the Master Sword, so I do have the... Um, I do actually have it where it comes down, you know, low enough for me to get pieces from it, but... You are correct. I do have to, usually have to be up in the air to find it. I was finding it pretty consistently not too long ago, but I think I need uh, one more claw from her or something along those lines. I don't know. Because we're trying to upgrade the champion's tunic at the moment. Oh, whatever. That's a nice amount of loot, at least. Um... Go ahead and go over there real quick and hop back up. Get all- get some of these different, uh, light roots down here. Because as soon as I get the light roots and I can actually find, like, you know, areas of interest... Because that is one thing this game does do really, really well alongside uh, Elden Ring, is the details of the map show you where you need to go. And that's another big thing for me, is I love it when you can actually see, like, what is probably important. Because I feel like there's a lot of games with kind of pointless maps with a lot of excess shit for no reason. And uh, this game seems like you can usually tell if it's just excess shit or not. You Platinum Trophy the PS4 version, the uh, PS5 version... PS3 version, got it on PC. I'm currently trying to make a 318 mod list, not not crash immediately. 318 mods, wow. I think I've actually seen a couple uh, people play with so many mods on Skyrim that it just basically turns into a different game, so I'm not surprised. Like, I've seen somebody turn uh, Skyrim combat into like an action, almost like uh, God of War, I think. Like God of War 4. Style combat, which is pretty, which I, is better than Skyrim, so I think that'd be pretty awesome. Um, stack position is not influenced by your ability to bypass time. If you get the positions of the two dragons, you can always figure out where the light one is purely based on where they are in the cycle, and the thermal will allow you to allow you to adjust for accuracy for s cycle. Well, so that's the thing, though, is I don't usually worry about farming equipment. Like that's that's a big thing for me. I rarely farm equipment in video games because I'm so lucky that I more or less get it whenever I damn well please. Like, not to sound like an asshole, but that's just usually what happens in any video game I play. I just usually don't have to worry about it, you know? I just kind of, if, when, I, when it becomes available, I get it, you know? So you can triangulate the position of the uh, light dragon, is what I'm kind of getting at. <clears throat> oh, as it crosses, talking about the uh, about it. Hell Divers does that. I just fucking I love Azit Cross. He's so fucking funny.
Me too. He deser he deserves to do something that's fun. Um, play the dragon's move, unlike Breath of the Wild, is completely independent of your ability to skip time. They will always be in the same position regardless of what time, how much time you have passed there for. <laughs> yeah, it honestly, that's one thing I noticed is like, uh, because I was worried about, you know, me like fast traveling and everything, changing the position of the dragons. But uh, people were saying like, if I wanted to, I could uh, just fast travel to where, if I saw the dragon it, like up in the air, I could fast travel to where the dragon is. <laughs> And then uh, catch up to him. That way. Because apparently, like, when you fast travel, it doesn't change where the dragon's at. Because, like you said, they're they're independent from, like, where the, uh, where everything else is. Which is pretty nice. I think that's, I think that's pretty cool. To have them kind of be, like, doing their own thing, just about. No, we're not trying to burn the place down, and I don't think you're gonna be able to burn down the fireplace. I'm not. Th I don't think you're gonna be able to burn down the stone building, anyways. But what goes here? I wonder. Ah. Seems a little too empty for there not to be something important over here. I don't know, I guess we'll... As, as Kanye said, I guess we'll never know. Which, honestly, I still to this day, day think that's a hard as fuck line, to be honest. What is Chats and Dylan's thoughts on that? I gotta know. The fucking... People keep asking what I would have done if I didn't win, and then hits them with the "I guess we'll never know." That's that shit's crazy. That's such a good fucking line. I had all these areas like they're supposed to have treasure chests, and then they don't. I'm so confused. Weird. It was easier to get them in Breath of the Wild because you pass in time would also accelerate the patrol, so you could just get one, make a camp, travel uh, travel a couple days, and they'll be back above you again. Uh, so they basically did that to make it to where it doesn't, um, where they're a lot less farmable then. I mean, that's fair. I wouldn't want to make it to where, like, you know, something that's supposed to be rare is just so easily farmable. So I, I can understand that gameplay choice. Um, once again, it's not something that really bothers me too much. I uh, I think the the patterns and stuff the dragons go on is pretty cool, and I honestly feel like I see the dragons often enough to where it's not really problematic. Because if I actually was just trying to get the dragons and everything, I feel like it would be pretty easy to do. Yeah. Especially with how often I see them accidentally. Like, as is, I see them pretty fucking often. Hmm. You know, playing Zelda, I always think to myself, th it is interesting that this gameplay series, this game series, has been something I've played, not only from like the youngest I've ever played video games, but even all the way till now. Like I have played this game series my entire life. Like you got to think about that. Some does anything like that ever just kind of hit you guys out of nowhere? Where you're like, wow, I've I've really been playing these games for that long. Like, and there's only like you know certain games that you can really do that about. Like I've been playing Zelda games as they've come out. For years, and, I'm, and I feel like well, mostly like only certain types of video game fans can really like feel that way about certain you know certain game titles. It has to be something like Zelda, Mario, Pokemon, etc. Has has to Halo. Halo is another one of those. You know, you'd have to be a fan 
Call of Duty. You have to be like a fan of these uh, certain games. And I just kind of, sometimes it hits me like, man, I really have been playing Zelda for that long of a time. But to be honest, I am I am still so glad that out of all the video games I could have played for like, you know, initial video game experiences, I'm really happy that, that Zelda was one of them, you know? That Zelda was like the first game I ever played. Damn it. Yeah, I have not. Oh, this is the first one. What am I doing? I'll try to shoot him in the eye, but you can't usually shoot him in the eye. It's usually pretty difficult. Usually it's better to uh, throw bombs in his mouth. Yep. I'll show you. Oh, I actually had a fucking headshot. What do you know? Or an eye shot. Okay, let's fuck him up. Damn, he's how tanky? You did, you did. You have like a ton I've not used. God damn, that's a flashbang. Woo! Not me headshotting him again! He's cooked! Nope. Oh, I need it. Shove a bomb down his throat. See, I could shove a bomb down his throat, chat, but like... I want to be difficult. I want to do it the hard way. You know, it's funny, when we playing Elden Ring so much and everything, it, it is it is hilarious to, like, fight some. It is pretty... <laughs> Dylan, 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 put it in my fridge. I'll use it. I will use it tonight. I'll use it... I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll use it right the fuck now. No, I'll be right back. I got, I've got cinnamon raisin toast to make, chat. It's important. I may, ha I may be the Frenzy Flame. Has it? Oh, I, th I thought Adrian had it. So. Luna? Okay, here. Say hi to me. Say hi to me. Hi. Now go talk to your dad. Thank you. Get some peanut butter on it? What? Did you just say peanut butter on my cinnamon raisin bread? Why would you ruin it like that? I love peanut butter, but that would... Ooh. No, I love peanut butter. So I have a very difficult history of peanut butter going all the way back to the time where every single time I died on stream, I would take a dab of peanut butter and that ruined my uh, appetite for peanut butter pretty bad. 
because they were asking to do something uh, dumb, do something uh, terrible every time I died, and I was like, let me think. I was like, well, I don't fucking take shots, and I'm nothing's gonna get me to do that. And then I was like, you know what? I got a jar of peanut butter, brand new. Jesus fuck. <laughs> yeah, no. Like that's why. That's how I told. Yeah, that's how I told you, Dylan. I was like, don't, don't give your dog peanut butter. Well, at least too much. That will fuck up her stomach. It fucked up my stomach. Someone has spoken some heresy? What are you talking about? What? Um, it really does help Zelda that they don't shop her, they, uh, they don't shop her franchise fatigue because every couple of games they essentially reinvent the action RPG genre. It does help that they are absolutely cooking in that fucking kitchen. Something Call of Duty should take notes from. Yeah, imagine when Call of Duty made World at War. Imagine. Imagine. Shovel bomb not throat. Cinnamon raisin toast sounds good. Um, someone has spoken some heresy. The pe either putting peanut butter on it or not putting peanut butter on it, because I like peanut butter. But just not not putting that on my cinnamon raisin toast. We're gonna more of this. Look at that. That's why I did that, because there's a wall right the fuck there. Oh, we're going around. I guess we're not. Wait, is this corner like closed off from the rest of the area or something? Oh, you know what? Because the ground is usually the same shape as the above ground, so maybe. I need to go down to go around. Maybe it's it's shaped as in like the area for the uh, the water is the area that's cut off. Maybe. That's the only thing I can think of, anyways. So here we'll go around. Also, I just heard my toast pop up. I'll be back.
Chat, I have some bad news. I burnt the toast. <laughs> just, uh, just a little bit. <laughs> maybe, maybe just a little bit, you know. No, Luna. No, I'm not your dad. You can't just take food out of my hand. But yeah, that's, uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, the Geneva Convention has just become a checklist. What? Oh my god, it's just crunchy as fuck. Nah, that shit went from toasty to crunchy. Oh, nice. Woo. Anyways, now that I've burnt my toast, and we shall continue onward. Let's see here. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm about to get hit with a... It's crunchy as fuck. That's what Edgy's GF said about him. Crunchy? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but that sounds... That does sound horrible. What is it? What's crunchy? What could be crunchy? I actively don't know. I appreciate the uh, the thoughts that I have a girlfriend, though. I, I thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you believe in me. I mean, I'm fine enough to get one, but <sighs> oh no, bro! My luck and my looks are only carrying me so far. But crunchy, that's wild. really did hit that on the one thing I didn't want to hit it on. That's fine. I can see my objective right here. That's all I needed. I just need my obje objective in sight. I might be falling too fast, though. I'm over a goddamn crater. A crater of Ganon cream! And nobody wants to fall in Ganon's cream. Trust me. Just runs past 12 pose. Oh, well, here's the crazy part. If the game gave me any fucking trading statues, I'd probably pick them up. But I've not found a trading statue, and who even fucking knows how long, dude. I can't even remember the last time I found a fucking trading statue. It pisses me off. I have found two, and only one of them gave me something, so... I think, like, right now, I have 1,200 pose. God, this is so hard to eat. <laughs> What's up with that? I have to go up here and then go over here, see what, so it might be down there. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and head further to try to get more light routes. We're just trying to fill out the map a little bit here and there. There's a lot of the map that we're missing down here, and I want to I want to fill it out some, so I can actually fucking see, so I can see where I have and have not been, and where I may or may not go. This is not what Edge's GF said about him. Exactly. Wink. Ah, boy. No, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, I, I still think it's funny. Like the whole, uh, what is it? A lot of what people tend to say, like, 
Dylan actually happened to mention that a little bit. He was like, you know, when people are too similar, it gets boring or whatever. I honestly can't say I agree. Like, you know, if I, well, not like, well, like with friends and stuff, I, I, I like us being different. But like dating somebody, I still hold that sentiment that I said the other day, like on stream. The more similar they are to me, the better. Like, don't get me wrong. I would be hard to date. Like, I, I everyone is a hard to date for, you know, different reasons. Everyone has their own problems that, you know, need to be uh, helped with. But, like, the more similar they are to me, probably the better. I, f I feel like, you know, the, o the only difference I really need to be there is that it's a, wo that it's a woman and that they, you know, maybe look a little different. Hey, Edgy, welcome in, Vacated Crab. Welcome in. Yeah, because be real with you, I don't think I'd ever get bored uh, dating somebody who was extremely similar to me. Because if I went, if I like came home and I was like, yo, did you see the Elden Ring DLC trailer come out? And they'd be like, bro, I've already seen it five fucking times. Like, that would be awesome. Like, I have no, no problems with that. Luna. Anyways, uh, yeah, like, I honestly have no problem with that, you know. I come home, we talk about the same video games, you know, we're both excited about it. We both, like, you know, talk about some music and share it together. Like, I honestly do not get bored of that. So I feel like I have diver diverse enough hobbies to not be bored of something. Because, like, I don't really get bored of what I already do. That's probably why I like women who are like men, since they are like me. These conversations on stream read like Wuxia novel, my god. I have no idea what that means. Uh, what's a Wuxia novel? <laughs> Sidetracked, what is a Wuxia novel? Honest question. A bit better, I did a bunch of crafts. Fuck yeah, man. Nothing wrong with doing some fun crafts here and there. Nice. Google it, very, very chat and stone definition has been, been agreed upon for a long time now. Luna, you're being weird as fuck. Um, the definition of it has been static for a long time now, as it's an entire genre of books easy enough to Google. Oh, okay. I will look it up then. I think Luna is excited about my boots because I have food. Interesting. Here, let me see. Did I read it right? So you're saying my conversations read like a Chinese martial arts and chivalry book? Hmm. I feel like I'm, I'm misunderstanding something. Notable for melodrama, spectacular swordplay, and high-flying martial... Yeah, I don't think I understand what we're talking about. Luna? Calm down. Yeah, no, I have no idea what we're talking about. My conversations are like <laughs> Chinese martial arts. Cool. <laughs> like, all right. Mm. Ah, I want to 
to get more. God damn, is there really that much I've not explored? This is ridiculous. Here, let's try to go north of here then. Well, actually, I guess we could go this way. I just got to turn to the right. Turn to the right and go this way. Um, I think it's fair to say you're spending your whole life with that person. You should be just like them. Well, no, like, I understand that some people need different things, but, like, I'm just saying, like, for me specifically. Because some people have, like, this, the, like, the way they are as people. They need to have something extremely complimentary. But, like, I don't think there's really anything as me as a person to really compliment. Like, I think, like, you can give, give me compliments. There's, there's plenty of things to compliment there. But... I'm talking, like, uh, to compliment me, like... Because a lot of the things I do that would be complimentary as a person would compliment best with just another one. If that makes any sense. Like, I don't know if that makes sense particularly, but yeah. It's like my best teamwork would probably be with somebody who's doing very similar things to me. Because the way I do teamwork conflicts with just about every single motherfucker I play do anything with. And I mean anything. You can you guys have seen me play with Dylan. We have some like moments of teamwork and stuff like in games that are like that are alright, but there's a lot of times, like me and Devin and me with a lot of people, teamwork is just like impossible because it just doesn't I don't I can't really mesh or meld together with anybody very well. Like my best teamwork is usually done with AIs. <laughs> Um, Chinese martial arts tends to be the subject matter, but I was more leaning towards the just kind of main character wandering around in the area, typically China. The story structure tends to be very random, has a, has a details to various encounters, and has a lot of world building without very much character growth. Huh. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm fine with that. That, that seems fair. I just need someone who makes me feel secure, to be honest. Exactly. In this day and age, that's pretty impossible. Someone who's terminally mine is someone who's already termini terminally online. But no, actually, it's funny. A lot of your uh, cult uh, cultivation style novels tend to fall in the... in the, uh... Uxia very easily. Okay, okay. So I will say this, as far as, like, the, uh, randomness of my conversation. Um, I have been told that by, like, a, a lot of people before, that I tend to, uh, have a lot of just randomness to what I tend to talk about. And it's very... What the fuck are you barking at? Luna, shut up. You're not a guard dog. I literally nothing. <laughs> I literally don't know what she's barking at. You tend to do a rambling argument. That is true. Um, but to be fair, I think it's because of my... Um, um, what did Dylan say earlier? He's, I tend to be an excessive overthinker. I just have a lot of thoughts going around constantly. It doesn't really slow down. So, it's probably difficult for me to catch any consistency in my thought. Because, or sorry, not consistency, but like, uh, any fluid thought process because of how much it's constantly, like, getting fed more information. Like, the inf what I usually tell people is it's really difficult for me to remember things. Or to, like, stay focused because my information intake is, like, on overload all the time. It's like I'm always thinking of something or always, like, you know, processing something. Something is always happening in my brain to a degree that I just can't be focused on what I'm doing and or saying. Yeah. So I tend to have a really difficult time holding a, you know, 
one fluid thought for any long periods of time. It tends to get interrupted by something. What do you, you would do very well in pause, at least when it comes to argument. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I fucking hate politics. Because <laughs> for me with politics, I've always thought it to be such a waste of time. Because, like, okay, well, politics themselves are not 100% waste of time. But it's a waste of my time. <laughs> because there's so many people, like, people just argue to argue, you know? I think that's kind of pointless. Pointless arguing is, as in the term, pointless, so... That and I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people tend to argue to be right rather than argue to find a solution. Therefore, I just don't argue. There you go, guys. I got done eating burnt toast on stream. <laughs> Me too. My god, I found my carbon copy. A lot of politics is the art of wasting the other parties. Timely arguments are experts at waiting, wasting time. So most of politics seem to be stupid people angry that other people have rights. Mm. Yeah, I just... I don't know. It just always seems... Like I said, it just seems like people are always wasting each other's... Each other's time. Arguing over who even knows. So I just don't bother. <laughs> So that is pretty interesting to have that, uh, that thing. But, yeah, I'm a... What did someone call me one time? An information sponge? Like, I, I like to take in information 24-7. I just wait the day where, uh... And they're pot farms with machine guns. <laughs> That's wild. A wild statement, for sure. What the hell? Oh, it's a Colgara boss room. Oh, so I've already been down here. This is the one I already killed. Okay. Look at Colgara being such a badass boss fight. Honestly, really enjoy that boss fight. I think for a first, like, main boss, I, I, I fought a really good one. Why am I getting raised up in the air? The uh, hell? Oh, is it because I'm considered in the boss room? Because if so, that's fucking busted. We are literally taking me to the top of the map at this point. Holy shit. Calm down. Calm down, game. Calm down. Um, Google filibuster. Goodness. Sorry about that. But yeah, I would pick uh, pick up more pose, but the bar uh, the bargain statues just seem so rare that like I don't bother trying to uh, you know find them or talk to them or anything. It just I hate I hate how much they just don't exist. It pisses me off. We need to go up there and get to that one. I'll climb that. I'm not too worried about it. It shouldn't be very difficult. Also, I love the choo-choo jelly thing. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so fucking adorable. Here we go. And what better to have with toast than milk? Let me go ahead and put that there, that there, so I can get more room on my table here. There we go. Google filibuster. Yeah, let me try to Google that here. Let me, while this is uh, playing this cutscene, I'll look that up.
An action such as prolonged speech that obstructs progress in a legislative assembly while not technically contravening the required processes. Wasting time <laughs> is what is what you're talking about. Bet. That. I made some like I was at work the other day and I made some type of like government related joke to like my boss. And it was so funny that when I made it, it went so far over my man's head that he hit me one of those he hit me with one of those ha 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 ha. Like, you know, literally didn't know what the fuck I was meaning and just kinda went went full went forward. But I have to remember what I said though. It was let me see here. Like I I'm trying to remember. It was let's see. Oh, okay, okay, that's what it was. So the joke that I had made is I was handling money at my work, right? As you do. Sometimes you gotta handle money depending on what's going on. But while I was handling money. Um wait, where? Oh, I need to go to that one. No wonder I can't, couldn't do what I was looking for. But yeah, I was handling money, and while I was handling money, my uh I obviously had cash and change in my hand. And uh, you know, one of the things he happened to say was, oh, you know, don't worry about it. It's it's all change with no bills. And my fucking stupid ass was like, ha, huh, okay, it sounds like a revolution. And it really wasn't that funny of a joke. Like, you know, no, you know, a lot of change, but, with n but no bills. And I was like, oh, okay, sounds like a revolution. And I was thinking of, like, you know, the French Revolution and stuff. Wasn't really that funny of a joke. More of just like, uh, you know. A joke of some kind and uh, literally it was hilarious to me how much he did not understand what I meant I was just like what do you mean you don't understand he's just like I have no idea what you're talking about right now <laughs> I was just like what I just I'm fucking using that is genius I <laughs> just like I just don't I didn't think it was like that good of a joke but just the fact that he had no idea what I meant I just didn't even know what to say. I was like, alright, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually, uh, that's actually been a, a dream of mine ever since I was really, 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 really young. Um, uh, I remember... In fact, I remember back when I was, uh, in middle school... When I was reading the uh, Four Swords manga that I uh, that I that I have, I actually used to think to myself how much I wanted to have like uh, four co four copies of myself, or at least one other copy of myself, because like, granted, as a kid I had a god complex like really bad, but you know not not particularly in middle school per, per se, but just in general I was like you know, I always wanted to have. Uh, you know, another person who was, like, extremely similar to me. And my problem was, and, like, you know, even if they had, and, uh, even if they had subtle differences, just that, you know, being super similar overall was what I wanted. And it, like, it always, I always thought to myself, like, I'd always hope to meet somebody who was extremely similar to me because it would make me feel a lot more, I don't know, just comfortable. Because, like, I'd always met, like, when I talk, when I'd talk to people when I was younger, I'd always... My fa everybody in my family, everybody in my family, and anybody I would meet, was always so different to me, different than me, to the point of like, not even a minuscule amount of similarities. And so I would always think to myself like, huh, well, this is weird. And that's really all I could. That's all I could feel about it because of, like I said, just the level of differences between everybody. And I just I always wanted to meet somebody who would be. Super, super similar. And of course, as I got older, it went from meeting somebody who was super, super similar to like, uh, when I thought about like romantic partners, I always thought to myself like, man, I really wish they would just be fucking similar to me. And honestly, as I've uh, had relationships over time, it's honestly just kind of reinforced that sentiment. Like it's gotten to the point now where it's like, yeah, I 100%, 100% uh, would want to be around somebody who's, um, uh, might as well be a carbon fucking copy of me, just because it, it, I don't know. I feel like I've always had an issue of, like, communication with people and understanding with people, because, like, 
to some degree, most of the time, people never understand me. Like, when I, when I say stuff or do stuff or anything, it's like, they always just have a complete like lapse of understanding of like what what I mean or what I'm talking about or anything and I've, I've always had that problem always it's like I, I have this and I have that problem sometimes with Dylan and Devin being like you know my best friends and roommates and stuff um but not as much as other people but even even with them there's a lot of times where it's like there's just a complete lapse of understanding to the point of like I, I can't even bother you know explaining it because it's just it's not it's not that they're dumb it's just that the thought process is so different that there's no way for me to explain it in a way for them to understand. And I know it's like a problem of like communication skills mixed with, uh, you know, such extreme differences in thought processes, but like, I don't know, man. That's something that is, because like, I'm also the type of person who says all the time, I love the differences between people, because I do. I think the differences between people is what makes people so good together, you know? I feel like people are so fantastic together because for every single person who does great at this, there's people who do great at this. And like, you know, and as people come together with all these differences, they then become really good at pretty much everything. Like everything that needs to get done can get done because everybody is good at different things. Like people having different talents, etc. And, uh... Yeah, that's just... But I can say that for sure, like, that particular sh subject was a subject matter that I, uh... had always felt a little differently about. I need to go over... I think it's a Yiga clan base, is what that looks like. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go over there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go to that Colosseum. Probably fight in the Colosseum, and then we're gonna go ahead and head even deeper into the darkness. Who are gloom or edgy like us? And then yeah, I mean that's that's fair. Like I know I um, there, but I mean, I also know that like I. I'm also pretty self-aware that I'm like, that I'm not the uh, easiest pe person to be around and that I myself am not like the most, I, I don't think that I am like the best person in comparison to everyone around me or anything stupid like that, you know? I just feel like for me, for my own mental uh, sake and everything, that's, that's what is always, that's what I've always uh, realized works best is uh, the extreme similarities of myself. Like I said, the more time passes, the more I feel that way. Which is funny, because my dad's actually the opposite. He's actually told me before, he's like, Son, I remember when I was younger, I'd always want to get, I always want to date somebody who was just like me. But now, I can't stand that idea. And I'm like, you know, Dad, I appreciate the pep talk, but like, bro, I can't, I, I couldn't feel any different. I couldn't feel more different about it. How did I not get fucking cursed just now is my question. Yeah, I really don't know what the fuck is like going on with this area. So there is like... So this is all above me is what that is. No? I don't know. Whatever, let's go to this one. Nothing like being reminded that uh, you're depressed and then being forced to do some convolute shit because we didn't have our head in the game. <laughs> right, right. My head is always in the game. Come on now. You, what do you think? <clears throat> My brain runs off of very specific things, all right? Video game statistics, um, 
movies and movies and lore about video games and movies, fantasy worlds, and attractive women, and streaming. There you go. And then, and then of course. Uh, You're dead, bitch. Bodied, bodied. Oh, motherfucker. Look at him go. He thinks he's got me, you dumb bitch. Comboed. That's not good. <laughs> that's that's certainly not okay. I had my shield down. God damn it. Motherfucker, I'm trying to make a weapon and you're being yourself, and I don't appreciate that. Let me cook, goddammit. I'm in the kitchen. I have the ingredients right in front of me. All right. Bitch, you're gonna hate this. What? Come at me. Get the fuck out of here, Silver Lionel, with that lame shit. Not, on, not only were you parried, you were disrespected, all right? Come on now, do better. All right. Now that bro got bodied, we shall move on. These holes invaded minor cats, dinosaurs, and men. No homo. <laughs> no homo. I had socks on when I said it, okay? <laughs> I had socks on before he gave me the 20 bucks, all right? That's all I'm saying. It's okay. It's not It's not the same. You won't understand. Is that a Hinox? Goodness, I got mad hiccups. Um, yeah, let's just run by. Just... I'm, I'm just obsessed with men. No homo. <laughs> I've got socks on. I've actually got three pairs of socks on. <laughs> now, I've worn two pairs of socks before, but I've not worn three. I've not been that cold before. All right, let's go on the Coliseum. Secluded. Wow, no hello. We're gonna see fish people today? We might. Oh, well, welcome in, Izzy. Welcome in. Why are you depressed now? I'm so confused. Do you mind? I 
say, I wish they dropped the tails more often. Okay, let me... Not me fucking whiffing. What is happening? Did you just land a headshot while I perfect dodged? What a combo. This team is built different, chat. Absolutely built different. Also, where are the body pieces to that Lizalfos we just killed? I don't appreciate that. They look so silly. The red, like, flare and everything on them, too, really doesn't help. <laughs> nice, nice. You better get back in the map. You are not allowed to drop your tail outside of this map. I need that drop for my for my shinobi armor, okay? My stealth armor requires your body. Your body. Get over here. Ah, oh, silver one, huh? Well, damn. If you really felt that way, you should have said so. Pro is not having a good time. I'm getting to him. <laughs> Watch out, we're going. Oh, that's bad. This is just so fucking stupid. I will never not love how dumb some of the interactions are in this game. This right here is probably top tier fucking stupid. What else is there? You know, I'm sure this will kill you eventually. Wait, bro, are you fucking immune? What? Rocky Banana, boo. Off fresh meat to the cat. Shit. Oh, welcome in, Rocky Banana. Welcome in. How you doing, man? Not the Ravios hood. <laughs> I don't need to remi be reminded of his I don't need to be reminded of how that man stole all my fucking money. Wearing it increases your, your sideways climbing speed. That's a weird specific upgrade. Women are kind of really fun to be around, so it was true, and it was no homo. Okay, okay. I will say this. I will genuinely take that and believe you, Vacated Crab. But yeah, Rocky Banana, what brings you into the game? Are you a big fan of uh, Zelda, or did you just happen to... Uh, no, did you happen to hear about the stream somewhere? What brought you in here? And how are you doing? I'm playing Zelda for a little bit. I'll probably switch to uh, Elden Ring, or I might switch back to... Uh, Hell divers later. <clears throat> Hell divers later. I'm not fully sure what I'm gonna do quite yet. We'll have to see. Need, right? Yeah, I need to go back down there. Okay, we're gonna go this way. It's because he's Nabbit. Yeah, dude, I can't. The fact, also, isn't it weird that Nabbit's literally invincible, like in canon, bro? When you play as Nabbit inside of the fucking Mario games, he's literally invincible. Like, you can only die to fall damage. That is so goddamn busted and overpowered. I honestly love it. I watched, some, I watched somebody play the uh, game, and they were playing as... I think I was watching Alpharad play the game, 
and they had like a friend of theirs playing as Nabbit, and he could literally run straight through everything, but it was beautiful because the bro who was fucking playing the Nabbit character was gaslighting them the entire time. And you know what? Gaslighting can be absolutely hilarious. I won't lie to you. But like, gaslighting can also be pretty terrible. I actually saw a fucking, uh... I was watching a video talking about uh, gaslighters the other day. And it was honestly fucking wild to, 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 to listen to and watch. Bro was like, I can't... He was like, dude, why, why, why are you getting all upset? Are, are, you, are, you going to your are you listening to your therapist again? But, like, it had a whole, like, long list of gaslighting. But the one that just killed me was the most simple and basic gaslighting, which was the, uh... Man, I want you to know, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry that you feel that fucking way. <laughs> it is just the most simple, rude as fuck thing to say. And it was downright hilarious. Sorry you fucking feel that way. It's just such a statement, man. Such a fucking statement. Um, he's a character for the little kids that are bad at video games. That is true. That was never me. I've always been god at the god tier video games. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest with ourselves. Edgy Gamer has always been truly a god gamer, so... It can't be helped. Is there something over there? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing over here. Mario version of the chicken suit and metal and metal gear. Don't worry, it's okay to be wrong. Oh my god, yeah, that shit? Jesus fuck. Devin does that shit constantly. The fucking oh it's okay to be wrong. Like it dude. I can't- I can't be bothered to care about him when he says stupid shit like that. Yeah. Edgy gamer, a god gamer? Definitely. Exactly. See, since we're talking about gaslighting, I'm gaslighting you guys into me being a really good video game player. It's working, trust me. I would know. <laughs> A grove. Yeah. Oh no. Not these evil fucking trees again. Always with the evil trees. Why can't it just be some friendly trees? Oh my fucking eyeball. Ah, nope. Rid of that. That is that far away? Really? Actually, what the fuck is that audio? Is that is that from something? I. What? But no, I'm a god gamer when it comes to like uh, Dark Souls 2 and a few other things. This game, it's probably debatable. Ah, uh, another output. Oh no, it's a that's a pull on like mine. There's also a thing right here. Let me get that first. That was a jam. I still haven't. You still haven't Dark Souls 2? You know I haven't Dark Souls 2 either. <laughs> Insert whatever you want to right there. There we go. Come on, fill out more of the map. I need more information. Fucking Dark Souls 3, dude. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry, chat. I just... I really... I'll say this. I know how much you guys like Dark Souls 3. I wish I liked Dark Souls 3 more. I'll say that. I do wish that I did. You think you might need a carry? I'm not particularly sure why you would need a carry, my guy. I didn't think it would be too, too ridiculous. Uh, 
Um, I affect. What am I looking for? This way. I don't like Dark Souls 2 anymore. I fucking suck at Dark Souls 2. I don't know why. How we doing? I'm doing pretty good at a nice gaming. To be honest with you, I was playing some Helldivers. Kind of like I wish I, that I liked this game. And see, and that's fair. Like, that's that's totally fair. Because, like, I know there's a lot of games out there that'll, that are, you know, that a lot of people really, really enjoy. That I personally can't get, right, get like, any enjoyment out of really anymore. So, you know what? I completely understand that sentiment, Vacated Crab. I did not know that you didn't like this game, Vacated Crab. I, um, I actually did not know that. I was unaware. God, my nose. I'll imagine if you ever want to stream Dark Souls 2 again but can't find a reason, let me know. I'll say if I ever get really, really, uh, if I can't think of anything to do, then I might have to, it's just a bridge. Nice. Before I completely give up. Well, I'll say this. Maybe I'll, uh... Puns, motherfucker! I might make a new character and help 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 you out throughout through the whole game at some point. Did you like the new game? Oh, I loved it. Yes. Did you? Uh, were you not here for that stream, uh, Internized Gaming? When I played uh, Hell Divers. Die. I actually, I, I honestly really liked Hell Divers. I actually streamed more of it today, and I might do. I might actually stream more of it uh, later on as well. It's a genuinely fantastic, fantastic experience. I've honestly loved it. I only peeked in when you were a when you were AFK. Why can't I pick up any? I wonder. Weird. <laughs> But yeah, no. I, I want to be Dark Souls 2. I just can't. Well, I will have to help you out with it at some point, Izzy. I'll open this shit up so I can fucking see. My eyes have been opened! I need some food before I fucking die, though. Hold up. Let me... I'm sure I got something here that... Oh, yeah. There we go. Tomato seafood. Um... I don't know. I would have a hard time with it than other Souls likes. 9 out of 10, Helldivers agree. One fast sled uses use of Eagle CAS has killed more Helldivers than the Terminids have. Yeah, and you know what? That may be true. Because <laughs> the fucking Eagle Strikes kill me every time. I've been killed by so many goddamn Eagle Strikes. I feel like people really do throw those out with reckless abandon. I feel like there should be something here that I just isn't. I don't know. I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. Weird. Very weird. Here, let's go this way. There's another mine down here. Um, does Helldivers have uh, really short capes? If so, then I might try it. But, uh, yeah, Izzy, uh, if you want to, at some point, I'll probably hop on Dark Souls 2 and help you out with that. I don't mind. I've always liked playing Dark Souls 2. And that might be a reason for me to go back and play some Dark Souls 2. <laughs> fucking stupid. I hate getting that fucking shit. I hate getting those things for drops. It makes me mad every time. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it rubs the salt in my wounds. Oh. But yeah, if you want to, I can... Um, what is it? Maybe... Because uh, I did Helldivers earlier today. I might... Um, I might say fuck it and hop on Dark Souls 2. Because like I said recently, I've not been wanting to start any new games or anything. Um, and... Like I said, it's because a lot of stuff that's been happening off stream, but I am excited to stream. I just can't get myself to start any new streams. You know, so maybe here in a... Well, I've been streaming this for what? Now we're in 46, mi 46 minutes? Let me uh, do some more stuff on here and I might hop on. I just got to hook up my PS4. 
Well, dummy, I'd probably have you make a new character because if you, you, I, you said you don't know where you've been and you don't know what you're doing. You'd borderline have to make a new character at that point. If it's been that long. You have it on Xbox? Oh, then yeah, just get on my Xbox then. Why do you have to curse me with no hell? Well, it's also up to Izzy, though, because I don't even know if Izzy has the game downloaded, and I also don't know if I have the game downloaded or not. I'll, I'll double-check before I, uh, before, I before I tell you guys. Don't worry. Get producing! Yeah, I was going to say, he'd have to make sure he has it downloaded, and I have to make sure I have it downloaded as well. I honestly don't know if I do or not. Also, what time do I work tomorrow to make sure I, uh... ...know when I need to be off, etc. Um, I mean, I usually have, uh, every single one of them downloaded, but... ...it's just per chance, you know? There we go. For a chance, I do not. Um, I might go use the bathroom as a bathroom break here in a second as well. Man, I've honestly... I've been trying to just get more of the map figured out recently, and... Um, it's absolute hell, man. I was it, Thankfully, I went and got all this figured out. So I got all this explored and looked at. Um, and I did also beat a Colosseum as well, so there is that. So I have done quite a bit, but it's been all underground. I guess I could go figure out this area over here real quick. Kind of like in the corner or whatever, but... Ugh. I might want to go over here, because this is the area I've explored pretty thoroughly, but haven't really gotten everything on, so... Like this one right here, there's, there should be one right next to this one. I don't know. I'm getting tired of not having all of the underground just lit up where I can fucking see it. Which is hilarious to say, because I don't have the fucking main area of the game fully lit up where I can see it. So the fact that the underground bothers me as much as it does is weird as hell. But it does, it does, and, I'm, and I kind of want to, you know, fill it in. So I've just been going around trying to grab all the light roots and everything. Plus, like I said, a lot of the good loot is hiding down here underground, and I want to get that good loot. If the game would just simply let me. So I need to go this way. Out of Bright Balloon Seeds, you are probably a Yiga clan, so I'm not going to talk to you. Some random-ass traveler underground? I, I don't believe that. <laughs> not even for a moment. Creepy underground dark forest. Alrighty then. You don't have it installed. Well, uh, if it gets installed in a uh, somewhat timely manner, then we'll play that. It, and also if I uh, have it or not. It's, uh, it all depends on if you, uh, what is it? If you end up also, Izzy usually gets offline pretty uh, early in my stream, so I probably won't be getting on Dark Souls 2 for too terribly long. I could probably do Dark Souls 2 and then Helldivers afterwards. I don't really need to go to bed at a bit, you know, super early tonight. I could stream all the way until 4 a.m. if I really want to, so. I could I could probably do Helldivers at least for like an hour or so after I stream with Izzy. It, de it depends on, uh, you know. It depends on how late Izzy is staying up, really. I go to bed early, mostly due to my insomnia. Exactly, exactly. And it's our, it's uh, what is it? It's 1 a.m. where I'm at right. N it's 1 a.m. right now, so I don't know exactly how uh, yeah. late you'd be staying up. Fuck, dude.
Zone eye device? Uh, probably a spring because I can't really think of anything else I'd want to use. Perfect! Why use a rocket when I can just use a spring? Depends on your insomnia if you stay up or not. Then yeah, I'll just hop on and we'll see and we'll see when you get off. And whenever you get off is when I'll get on Hell Divers. Let's see here. Like I said, I also have to see if I have it or not. I don't know if I have it. Oh, that's a Yiga camp, I think, is what's over there. <sighs> More shit. More shit to go find! If you, uh, if, if you don't, I can wait till another day. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll probably pull that up and then look at it. Um, which, I mean, I could easily just do that, uh... Actually, tomorrow night, I don't think I can stream anything. Yeah, I think tomorrow night I have to go to sleep and uh, wake up really early, and I mean like wake up at 7 a.m. kind of thing, if that makes sense. Yeah, I have to wake up super fucking early. I just want to be Demon Souls, but I have to finish Final Fantasy first. Wait, which Final Fantasy are you playing, Izzy? The way I play games is a mess. I kind of jump around from game to game, but I usually stay pretty consistent on one game. I don't work tomorrow, so a midday stream is not out of the question. Yeah, I know, uh... What is it? For me... I have to go, uh, out of state on, um... What is it? For, uh, would it be Saturday? Yeah, I have to go out of state for sa uh, for Saturday, so. That is what I will be doing. The newest one with the, fe uh, the Phoenix Kid. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, 16! You said Phoenix Kid, and I was like, fucking what? But I was like, okay. It makes a lot more sense now, thinking about it for a moment. What the hell? Oh, it's, yeah, it's that. It's one of those. One of those fucking things. Well, I need to go that way, so. Go fuck her up real quick. This can't possibly go wrong. Running away! Thank you. Really? That was weird. Super fucking weird. What the hell is that? Oh god. I need to go ahead and get... Honestly, this might be... It. Well, that's 68, though. That's a lot of fucking damage. I don't know if I want to use that. You know, let's use the Gloom Sword. I just... Not the triple! Oh yeah, you're gonna do a phase two, aren't you? I keep forgetting that even when you fight them down here underground, they do their phase two and everything. 
If you want to spawn ads, then you can. I'm just going to let you know that I don't really have to care about it. All right, give those. Fuck off. You, I need to get the fuck away from here. Also, I hate they're not dropping parts. Dude, fuck off. Actually, leave me the fuck alone. Thank you. We're actually doing this right now. Fucking enemies. Why is this version so much worse? Why is that surprising? Not when I played the game, they were fine. You get. I will say, I. Okay, okay. Uh... How did it miss the other guy? <laughs> it's literally a giant bug zapper. <laughs> Yeah, it was a Tesla. They went full on, uh, they went full on Clash of Clans on the enemies. He's pulling his cock out. You know what? Chat's right. Speaking of Clash of Clans, he's they're pulling the cock out, the cock play. Read you? Are you fucking dense, girl? What are you doing? I can't. <laughs> Just uh. I, okay, I'm gonna have to resummon her. I don't know where she is. Yeah, she's just gone. <laughs> All right, this is this is my this is my drippy necromancer armor. Yeah, girl's gonna have to dismiss and come back. I still love that people get so mad when you use summons in that game. It's hilarious. Yeah, people get mad for people for using summons in Elden Ring. Oh my lord. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine now. Now! Exactly. Damn it, Queen Gimp. Why did you fly over here to fall over? You know what? You're going to regret doing that as soon as I get up. You heard me saying Queen Gibdo. Dude, why are you just ignoring me? <laughs> Holy fuck, fall over. Why'd you not fall? Oh, now you just regen your armor. Okay. 
Oh my god. Why are you just... Let me stand up and knock you the fuck over. Please. There we go. Okay. Holy hell. <sighs> you know? Dark Souls 2 is at 69%. Nice. Edgy, ever think of streaming VR games? Not particularly. Um, you should end the Zelda stream with uh, with Sidon. See Link's fish husband. You know, just because you have fantasies doesn't mean I need to support it. Just <laughs> Reed, you had to get her nails done, Edgy. You understand, right? She shipped a nail. All I'm saying is if I saw a giant demon bug, me chipping a nail might honestly not be that important. <laughs> Dark Souls 2. I own Dark Souls 2 on disc. Oh, me as well. Yeah, I, I own Dark Souls 2 on uh, disc. I don't think I own Dark Souls 2 digitally at all. I think I only own it on disc. I don't really, uh... Ooh, I don't really, uh... Yeah, I don't think I own it any other way. Holy shit, chat. Yeah, I think we're... How did I sit underground for so long and still find so little? becoming impressive. Here, we're going to go try to find one more underground thing, see if anything flares up, and then we'll, and then we'll get off and see if I have uh, Dark Souls 2 on my uh, Xbox. So I will say this. Are you playing the Scholar of the First Sin Edition, or are you playing the Original Edition? Because I need to know if I need to get on my Xbox 360 or my Xbox One. Scholar. Yeah, look at this, I definitely have to start over. Level 85 and lost. I still, I'm still surprised you get lost on there, but I mean... Maybe that's my problem, chat. I don't get along with normal horses because I get along with skeleton horses. See how easily they get tamed? Every time I go talk to the fucking wild horses on the above world, they want to kick me in the damn eye. But this one, he's just like, oh, what's up, dude? He's immediately chill. Well, no, no, I'm not telling you to, like, I'm not saying it's it's difficult to get lost. I'm just saying I'm surprised you got lost. That's my statement. I'm not going to say the game's entirely straightforward. I don't really think... Really, I don't. I think Dark Souls 3 is the only Dark Souls game that's extremely straightforward. I think Dark Souls 1 and 2 are not the most straightforward. Dark Souls 3 is basically just a straight line, so it's pretty difficult to fuck it up. Edgy, tear off your flesh and become skeleton. I already have. This, uh, this face you see is actually the uh, face of the Finn boy from next door. I killed him years ago. You're playing with McLovin? Don't you mean Muhammad? Dark Souls 1 map is awesome. Oh yeah, Dark Souls 1 map is awesome. But it's not, it's not nearly as uh, straightforward as Dark Souls 3 is. Dark Souls 3 is a line. Oh, it's trees. Okay. Ah, uh, still not explored all of it. At least I have all of the south now. I just have to get up north.
Yeah, I just have to go up north and get all this stuff up north. I'll probably get this stuff next time. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. Here, let me see if I'm getting on Dark Souls or not. Give me one moment. And here, while everything's loading, I'm going to go use the bathroom. I will be right back. Okay. Where the hell is my controller? There it is. Man, it doesn't have a fucking battery. Thing. Um, Dylan. Did your little brother leave the uh, battery pack I let him borrow here? Yeah. So it is here? That's all I'm making sure of. Nope, I do not need it. I was just making sure it's here. Here, let me see if I have Dark Souls 2, guys. So I do believe it's downloaded. I just have to put the disc in. But anyways, let's go ahead and do the outro for, uh... For, um, thank you. The Zelda stream. Thank you guys all for coming in. He's pulling his cock out! Nope, there will be not be any cocks on stream. I'm sorry. But, anyways, I, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, there was a... If you pick the Master Key or start as a thief, you immediately get access to seven areas off the bat, and the entire world is connected in so many unique ways. Edgy Bluey, the video game is on Game Pass, you should stream it. That's a damn shame, we already picked Dark Souls 2. But anyways, for now... Um, what? Yeah. Oh god, no. Anyways... Thank you all for hopping in. I'm going to uh, take the movie out my Xbox. It seems like I had the last time I was on my Xbox, I was playing a, watching a movie. Um, huh? 
I was watching uh, Grown Ups 2 with uh, Dylan's little brother. But anyways, I'll be right on Dark Souls 2 in just a few moments, but for now, thank you for hopping in for my uh, Zelda stream. I had a fun time exploring the underground with you guys, and hopefully get to see you guys next time. And as always, 3, 2, 1, later losers, have a good night.